Hi guys, uh, so in this video I want to talk about the most important trees in the Maasai culture um, and also that might have great benefits for the future um, for modern products. Uh, so that's my time as I've been with the Maasai's for about more than and Samburus and Ilchams more than three years. Um, I've um, learned a lot about uh, the trees that they're using in the different areas and uh, they are quite many and they're quite different depending on the area so uh, in the Maasai regions they are quite different uh, areas depending on the altitude and changes uh, and also the soil and uh, the sloping um, it changes a lot uh, the climate and there is a lot of different trees that uh, like to, to grow in different areas but in general there are some trees that are very 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 important for the Maasai so I would say um, where the Maasai live uh, there are more than maybe five six hundred different species uh, of trees and shrubs and grasses and other things and uh, among this, I've identified almost 50 uh, of these trees that are really, really interesting and really, really important for the Maasai culture. Uh, and quite many of them have also a really, really interesting uh, aspect that might be um, applicable in the future. Yeah. <laughs> so... The Maasais, they have used the trees for so many things um, and they have generally lived in the, in the plains uh, where there is good grass but protecting the forests and the very very big forest they have been living in a symbiosis with the, the Dorobo, the old Dorobo, uh, the, uh, the hunter and gatherers. So, the hunter and gatherers have lived in the forest. Uh, some have done uh, beehive uh, businesses, uh, beehive uh, economies, uh, and trading um, <laughs> the, the bee uh, the bee wax and uh, the bee alcohol. Uh, others they've been hunting, um, and others have been uh, the one making the uh, bow and arrows and and. Uh, uh, they've been living in symbiosis with the Maasai and Samburus who, who are the cattle herders, herders and um, they've been trading with each other and protecting each other uh, from uh, outside uh, enemies. And uh, the Maasai have not really been so interested in the forest until there's a very very big drought. They, they want to take the animals inside uh, to graze certain trees. So... Um, yeah, so in general, in the culture of the Maasai, the trees are really, really, really important. And with the Dorobo, that are very similar in the Maasai culture, only they don't keep uh, animals. Uh, but how they dress and how they talk and a lot of things, they are very, very uh, assimilated to each other. <clears throat> anyway, for the Maasai, the trees are extremely, extremely, extremely important. Um, and in the tradition, they have had a conserv uh, conservating culture. They have been conserving nature. They have been conserving forests. Yeah. So <laughs> let's let's get to the point. There are many many trees, uh, and on my list uh, of the trees that are are the most important ones, I would rate the, a tree called Lorien or uh, that is in Maasai, or in Erioi, that is in Ilchams and Samburu. Uh, and it's a wild olive, uh, it's normally uh, talked. Uh, the botanic name is Olea europea, subspecies africana. Sometimes they say Olea africana, uh, but it's the same thing. And uh, it has been extremely important for them uh, because it has been a godly tree, a spiritual tree, it has been a fodder for the cows in the drought, It's you can get herbs from it, you can get uh, clubs and sticks. So, 
Uh, you can also get <coughs> firewood uh, and construction material. Another very, very important tree is uh, Acacia nilotica. Um, that is a thorny tree. Uh, it grows more in, uh, uh, in open savanna and uh, they grow one and then you'll find another one quite far. Uh, it's called Olgeloriti in Maasai or uh, Elgeloriti in Samburan and Nilchamos. And um, also very, very useful, uh, very, very useful. The goats they, uh, and the sheep, they really, really love um, uh, the fruits and um, also graze on the, on the leaves of, the, of, of this, uh, this one. But very, very healthy for, for the animals, uh, for the goats especially and the sheep to eat um, the seeds um, and the pods. Um, it has a very, very, very nice uh, herb um, for <laughs> many benefits. Um, and that's the bark, especially. But also the pods are used for herbs. Um, it has a very, very, very hard, uh, hard wood, so it's very, very nice for firewood and it's very nice for timber and uh, it's very nice for for other things so glority uh kitchen is a very very important tree number three on my list is a tree called uh, seketek uh, or seketet or in samburu uh, masai senil chamus they call it seketek and seketet uh, samburus they call it suton uh, the botanic name is uh, Mircin Africana and uh, this one is very very important because of the produce of the seeds and so the seeds are extremely extremely important herb uh, in the Maasai community extremely important uh, building immunity building strength uh, very important for the Maasai uh, sometimes uh, they use it to increase now uh, so that you can eat a lot and uh, then you'll be able to eat more and then you can for a longer period you can stay without food and get a lot of energy you get the blood flowing and it's a it's like the only herb uh, that i've heard them um, the elders say that they used to take uh, daily um, they could take it the rest of the life they could take it yes it's small small um, you can use it. Yeah, it's a really, 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 really important herb for the Maasai. Number four is called Olesesiae in Maasai or Losesiae uh, in Samburan and Chamus. Um, and it's called uh, Osiris lanceolata in, uh, in the botanic name. And uh, uh, Um, common names is sandalwood, um, very, very exploited today. Uh, it's a, a huge market abroad, um, and uh, for the Maasai, they used to use it for herbal, herbal medicine, especially very, very important for like the newborn babies um, um, to give, to make them to improve the immunity and, and stay healthy and not get sick even for children um, and it was also used for the wa warriors to to use the smoke uh, probably it has a spiritual cleansing effect but also especially to to clean now and make the hair to smell good another herbal tree uh, is called the olamariaki lamurie uh, Lamuriaki in Maasai, Lamurie in Samburan and uh, and uh, Carcia edulis uh, in the botanic name. Very, very, very important herb for the roots and the trunk, uh, and also very, very nice fruits, um, and even leaves are. It's a very, very nice uh, tree. Uh, another tree <laughs> is called uh, Sokonoi or Sokoni in uh, Chamus and Samburu. 
it's called Warburgia salutaris in the botanic. Very, very nice tree. Uh, it's a tree that is, they use to bark and it's extremely bitter, but it really treats many diseases. Uh, I would say this is one of the trees that would be probably similar in types of treatment of diseases that even like uh, uh, an neem tree. Um, yeah, they, 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 it might be, it might be because it treats enormous amounts of diseases. Another tree that is very, very important in Maasai is called Orimit. In Samburu and Ilchamus, uh, it's called Sokotei. Uh, in the botanic name, it's called Salvadora Persica. Uh, and uh, common name can be toothbrush tree. So this is very, very important toothbrush tree, yes, uh, but also a very, very important hub. Hub for, for mothers when they deliver. Uh, to cleanse now uh, the stomach and stings. It's a very very important tree. You can uh, you can stay without uh, sickness, stomach sicknesses, and other diseases. It treats a lot of things, and it's also very very good for grazing for the goats and sheep. Um, another very very important tree is called uh, Esiteti. Esiteti in Ilchamus and Samburu, uh, and Grevelia bicolor in the botanic name. Very, very useful for the sticks. Very, very, very useful for sticks. And uh, the Maasai, they use a lot of sticks in the culture uh, all the time. And um, also, it has a very, very nice fruits, and it's also a very, very good things for, for grazing for the animals. Another very, very important tree is called uh, El Taracuey or uh, El Taracuey. Um, in the botanic name is called uh, Un uh, Uniperus Procera. Um, it's the red, uh, red cedar. And uh, this tree has been uh, the tree that they have uh, used mostly it's the most common tree that they've used for starting fire. So they have this thing for for the fire, <laughs> for for the wood, and then the stick can be in the same wood, and they do like this, and then you create a fire. And the fire is called um, orpiron or empiron. <clears throat> um, the hardwood is also termite uh, resistant and has been very, very used in, in, in the building of the houses. Um, the bark has sometimes been used for like for the Samburus, they have used it for 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 putting on the on the roofs of the houses and other things even the uses uh, when it comes to beehives and uh, other uses when it comes to herbs and other things. Another very very important tree is called the uh, uh, Lo Parmonio or uh, El Parmonio in uh, Samburu and Ilchamos and the botanic name is called uh, Todalia Asia, Asiatica um, very very good tree uh, very very useful for the herbal medicine uh, can treat a lot of diseases it's very very nice to take in as tea um, and it's very, very good uh, for detoxing. And it's very, very good for improving the immunity. Another very, very important tree for herbs is called uh, Orconil or Irconil. In, um, and uh, the botanic name is uh, Ramus Brunoides. Uh, very nice herb. Another very important uh, tree is called Emukotan or Mukutan. Uh, the botanic name uh, Albicia antlemetica, and uh, it has been the, the, the first choice now. Um, you can also use uh, Secatec uh, for this, but Albicia antlemetica is very, very nice for deworming and especially being used for deworming animals. Uh, very, very nice. Other herbal medicine that is nice. 
Another very important tree is called uh, Ormisigioi or Elmisigioi. Uh, botanic name Rus entalensis. And uh, this one has also been very, very uh, important for many things. Uh, toothbrush. Um, they've been uh, eating the, the fruits of it. Uh, and um, also they've been using for smoking, uh, for perfuming the clothes and the, the hair for the, for the warriors. And uh, the sticks, the wood, uh, can be used as uh, herbal medicine for for the body in general, body strength, joints and uh, bone strength. Another very, very important tree in the Masai called uh, Orcocola or Samburu Irkokolai. Um, botanic name Ramus Stado. Uh, very, very important herb for, uh, for medicine. <laughs> very, very important tree for medicine and treating malaria and other diseases. Another very, very important uh, tree in Masa is called uh, Ormararoi or in Samburu Lemenish <coughs> Leminishiria. Um, in botanic it's called uh, Combretum Mole or Combretum um, Actuliatum, and uh, it's very, very, very nice herb. Very, very good for the warriors. Very, very good uh, herb in soup. Very, very good herb for building strength. Uh, so many. Uh, very, very nice herb. Another very, very nice herb is called Enchan uh, Engashi. Uh, this is a uh, Dodonea uh, species, Dodonea Augustifloa. Uh, can grow in very very dry areas and um, it's very very nice because this herb is also it's one of the herbs that is tasting very nice especially when you add milk or you add sugar it's a really really uh, tasty herb and uh, very very nice for the general uh, strength of the body another very important herb is called uh, ultimigomi uh, and in the botanic name uh, Papaya, Capen uh, <coughs> Papaya capensis, also very nice herb, uh, not very bitter. Um, another very important tree is called uh, Enkinye or Elchinye, uh, Euclea uh, Divinorum. Very, very nice herb for the roots, uh, you can take for really flushing out toxins from the body um, <clears throat> and uh, also good for treating different uh, stomach uh, diseases um, like uh, amoeba and, uh, and typhoid and others. Another very very interesting tree for the Masai is called uh, oreteti, uh, reteti and it's good for many many different uh, Things, but especially the fruits are very, very um, interesting because it's a fig tree. It's called the uh, Ficus toning, toning, toningi. Um, another very important tree is called Oldepe. Oldepe is another, is another acacia tree. Very, very nice. And then using it uh, for um, for the bark, uh, for medicine, for the warriors, and for um, uh, different diseases. Uh, it's called Acacia nubia um, in the botanic name. Another important tree is called uh, Oleleshua or Osendu, and the Tanzania side, they call it Osendu. And the botanic name is uh, Tarshuna. <coughs> Natus Compuratus and uh, it's a perfume, it's the one you put under your your arms <laughs> and uh, it's a very very nice perfume uh, they put it uh, when they sleep in the bush it's a very nice one to make uh, for the leaves for the bed because 
it removes uh, insects, uh, the mosquitoes don't like the smell, all the blood-sucking animals don't like the smell. It's also traditionally used putting in where you sleep inside the house uh, to keep away bed bugs and keep away fly, uh, fleas. Uh, and it has other uh, important using. Another very important tree is called uh, Oltepesi or Oltepes, uh, Acacia tortillis, uh, and this one also for it's a it's a thorny tree, uh, very nice for for the seeds. Uh, uh, they they are very good food for the goats and the sheep, um, and uh, the roots are very good for the soup, um, and. Um, it's also used quite frequently for, for firewood, and now this is used for charcoal. Another very important acacia is called uh, Olerai, Olerai, uh, Acacia Xantopolea. Uh, it's also for firewood, also for fencing of the boma, uh, um, and uh, it also has uh, herbal uses for the stomach, and it's not a bitter one, it's good, it can be used for the kids also. Another very important tree is called uh, Ongmoswa or Luwe. Uh, it's a, a Blantis species and there are several species of it. And uh, the fruits of this tree is very, very nice for the sheep and the goats and they eat it and it's good for the stomach. And uh, in the drought, dry season, in the droughts, uh, they can, you can prune this tree. Uh, and the cows will eat and they will give strength and they will survive the dry, dry period. And uh, the bark of the tree can also be used for, for herbal medicine, especially for the stomach. Uh, another very, very interesting tree is called a, a, a makutukut or makutukuti uh, or clerodendrum myrioides. Uh, and it's mostly for the herbal medicine. But this one you have to take care of because if you, when I've taken it uh, a lot, <laughs> you get very emotional. Uh, yeah. Um, and uh, it's quite dangerous uh, if you overdose it. I would not recommend it for first uses of the herb, but it's, it has been important for the Maasai. Another uh, important uh, tree uh, is called Oltarara, uh, Acacia albidia, uh, also a, a very important acacia tree. Another important acacia tree is called Oluai, Oluai. Uh, there's some fruits they eat from it and uh, the roots, uh, it's very very nice for the digestion of the stomach. Uh, another one is called uh, uh, it's called Olchurai uh, Acacia Hoki. Uh, it's also a very important uh, acacia tree. Uh, another acacia is called uh, Orang uh, Orang Orang uh, or uh, Rengau uh, in Samburu. Acacia uh, gradi, uh, mostly for firewood and other things. Another acacia is oiti, uh, hiti, uh, acacia mellifera, uh, very, very nice <coughs> for the, the goats uh, to graze from it. Very nice flowers for the bees. And uh, the sticks are, <coughs> this one makes a hardwood that is very dark, very, very nice for the spear head, the, the wood part of the spear and for some other clubs and for other things uh, and it's very very nice they use the branches for for the fence around the boma and uh, it stays for a very very, very long time uh, this one does not is not eaten quickly by the termites uh, another very important acacia is called uh, Oldarapoi or El Darapoi. Uh, and uh, it's 
called Acacia Senegal uh, in the botanic name and gives gamma arabic and it's been very important for uh, grazing for the, the goats uh, it's been important for some herbal aspects you can use it for herbal for the soup uh, for the gum and it's good uh, for the bees uh, another important tree has been uh, uh, or Mirijoy or El Mor uh, El Morijoy um, and uh, this one is called uh, Acucantera Skimperi or Acucantera longiflora and uh, this one has very very tasty fruits and very very good for the bees but take care this is the most poisonous tree very very poisonous so this is the tree and uh, they are mainly used for uh, putting poison on on the spearheads of the arrows uh, to be able to poison enemies and to be able to poison animals when they've been hunting especially now the, the, the robo um, another important tree is called the uh, usang upesi and albicia gumifera another Albicia is called Oleparlongo, Albicia uh, Arveri, uh, Harvey, Harvey, uh, <coughs> another very, another important tree is called the uh, Oseki, uh, Cardia Monoica, Cardia uh, Uvala, um, Oseki in uh, Masai and uh, Ilgueta in uh, Samburu. Uh, and it has nice uh, fruits for eating for the kids and um, it's a very good grazing for the cows. Uh, another very important species is called uh, Olarkidingai or Larkidingai in Samburu, Croton uh, Tehugamus and it's been used for toothbrush, for it has small, it's a small bush uh, and the sticks have been used a lot in building of houses uh, because they don't decay uh, because of termites don't eat them and uh, they used to make clubs from it the throwing uh, the throwing rungus and um, a lot of other things and uh, you can also use it for herbal medicine it's extremely bitter uh, I've used it myself for treating malaria um, and can treat other things Another croton, uh, the big croton, Megalocarpus, uh, is called uh, or, or Merguait or in Maasai or uh, Marguait in, in Samburu. And uh, it's also a very nice tree. Uh, can have some firewood. Uh, you can, can also treat some diseases. Uh, and it's very very nice for the bees um, it's been one of the most important trees for for the, the dry forests uh, where the where, where the hunter and, the hunters and gatherers who have beehives um, it has been the most, one of the most important trees for the bees because it gives a lot of flowers and a lot of honey production. Another very important tree for the Masa is called Oltia Seca or Dalbergia Melanoxelon. This is now the Ebony tree and it has a very very strong heartwood. It um, has nice flowers and other things. Another very important tree <laughs> is called uh, Orangaboli or Engaboli. Uh, Ficus uh, sicocomerus uh, grows only in uh, dry riverbeds mm. and uh, baboons love this tree because of the fruits uh, the ficus the fig tree uh, the fig fruits also good for the for the kids for the goats and even the leaves that falls down is good for the goats and sheep and it's also one one of the spiritual trees for for the Maasai and the uh, Chamus and Samburus, and it's very holy. 
Another very important tree is called Luiri, uh, Gre Grevia tembensis. It's just growing like a shrub and it's used mostly for construction of houses. Another very important tree is called Orchidalashua or Elkidalashua, uh, Mirsica salicifolia, and uh, this has also been used a lot in, as uh, a herb. Another very important tree is called Olol <coughs> Yondoi uh, or Lolol <coughs> Yondoi, uh, the Elgon olive, Olea capensis, uh, used for herbal medicine and other things. Another very important tree is called Orgen <coughs> Orgerianthus or El Gerianthus, uh, Plumbago Sealantica. Uh, uh, another very important tree is called Ol Piripiri or El Piripirinti, and this has several species also. It has uh, Podocarpus lantifolius or Podocarpus uh, melian, <coughs> melianianus, and very many others. And this is called East African yellowwood, extremely. Uh, extremely uh, exploited because it has extremely good timber for construction of roofs and, and uh, in building. Another very important tree is called uh, Olkunjuku in uh, Maasai or El Malan in Samburu, Prunus africana, uh, nice for a lot of things. Another very important tree is called Orgilai or El Gilai, uh, Teclea nobilis uh, for, uh, for clubs and other things. And uh, then we have Alamai uh, or Lamai, uh, Eximenia Kafra. Uh, that is a very nice fruit tree. So that's my list. Uh, it's, uh, <laughs> there are many trees and uh, some of these are have several subspecies and some of them have uh, several species um, but there are many and there are about 50 of them <laughs> so uh, all of these trees are trees that I would uh, be interesting to plant and that I'm promoting uh, others to plant because they, they do have benefits and I will take them down uh, in detail <laughs> Uh, in other videos um, more about uh, the uses and their importance and this is just a small part a small aspect um, the Maasai have several other trees and this is the trees that I selected to be the most important traditionally and most promising uh, even to get uh, modern products out of in terms of um, in terms of uh, <laughs> wood and uh, timber and uh, uh, posts for fencing and uh, herbs, medicine for beekeeping, for fencing, for live fence, uh, for thorn fence, for so many things, <laughs> for shade, for windbreak, yeah, all these trees, they are here, they are Kenya and the Maasai, they are really rich with very nice species of trees. So I hope you learned something new, I hope you learned, uh, liked the video and uh, the content, and uh, hope to talk to you soon again. <laughs>